In physics, a wave vector is a vector which helps describe a wave. Like any vector, it has a magnitude and direction, both of which are important. Its magnitude is either the wave number or angular wave number of the wave, and its direction is ordinarily the direction of wave propagation. In the context of special relativity, the wave vector can also be defined as a four vector. Definitions Unfortunately, there are two common definitions of wave vector, which differ by a factor of 2 i euro in their magnitudes. One definition is preferred in physics and related fields, while the other definition is preferred in crystallography and related fields. For this article, they will be called the physics definition and the crystallography definition, respectively. Equals physics definition equals a perfect one dimensional traveling wave follows the equation where x is position, t is time, is the disturbance describing the wave. A is the amplitude of the wave, is a phase offset describing how two waves can be out of sync with each other, is the temporal angular frequency of the wave, describing how many oscillations it completes per unit of time, and related to the period by the equation, is the spatial angular frequency of the wave, describing how many oscillations it completes per unit of space, and related to the wavelength by the equation. This wave travels in the plus x direction with speed. Equals crystallography definition equals, in crystallography, the same waves are described using slightly different equations. In one and three dimensions respectively. The differences are, the frequency instead of angular frequency is used. They are related by. This substitution is not important for this article, but reflects common practice in crystallography. The wave number k and wave vector k are defined in a different way. Here, while in the physics definition above. The direction of k is discussed below. Direction of the wave vector. The direction in which the wave vector points must be distinguished from the direction of wave propagation. The direction of wave propagation is the direction of a wave's energy flow, and the direction that a small wave packet will move, that is the direction of the group velocity. For light waves, this is also the direction of the pointing vector. On the other hand, the wave vector points in the direction of phase velocity. In other words, the wave vector points in the normal direction to the surfaces of constant phase, also called wave fronts. In a lossless isotropic medium such as air, any gas, any liquid, or some solids, the direction of the wave vector is exactly the same as the direction of wave propagation. If the medium is lossy, the wave vector in general points in directions other than that of wave propagation. The condition for wave vector to point in the same direction in which the wave propagates is that the wave has to be homogeneous, which isn't necessarily satisfied when the medium is lossy. In a homogeneous wave, the surfaces of constant phase are also surfaces of constant amplitude. In case of inhomogeneous waves, these two species of surfaces differ in orientation. Wave vector is always perpendicular to surfaces of constant phase. For example, when a wave travels through an anisotropic medium, such as light waves through an asymmetric crystal or sound waves through a sedimentary rock, the wave vector may not point exactly in the direction of wave propagation. In solid state physics, in solid state physics, the wave vector of an electron or hole in a crystal is the wave vector of its quantum mechanical wave function. These electron waves are not ordinary sinusoidal waves but they do have a kind of envelope function which is sinusoidal, and the wave vector is defined by that envelope wave, usually using the physics definition. See block wave for further details. In special relativity, a moving wave surface in special relativity may be regarded as a hypersurface in space-time, formed by all the events passed by the wave surface. A wave train can be regarded as a one-parameter family of such hypersurfaces in space-time. This variable x is a scalar function of position in space-time. The derivative of this scalar is a vector that characterizes the wave, the four-wave vector. The four-wave vector is a wave four vector that is defined as where the angular frequency is the temporal component, and the wave number vector is the spatial component. Alternately, the wave number can be written as the angular frequency divided by the phase velocity, 
or in terms of inverse period and inverse wavelength. When written out explicitly in its contravariant and covariant forms are. In general, the Lorentz scalar magnitude of the wave 4 vector is. The 4 wave vector is null for massless particles, where the rest mass, an example of a null 4 wave vector would be a beam of coherent, monochromatic light, which has phase velocity. For light light null, which would have the following relation between the frequency and the magnitude of the spatial part of the 4 wave vector. For light light null, the 4 wave vector is related to the 4 momentum as follows. The 4 wave vector is related to the 4 frequency as follows. The 4 wave vector is related to the 4 velocity as follows. Equals Lorentz transformation equals taking the Lorentz transformation of the 4 wave vector is one way to derive the relativistic Doppler effect. The Lorentz matrix is defined as in the situation where light is being emitted by a fast moving source and one would like to know the frequency of light detected in an earth frame, we would apply the Lorentz transformation as follows. Note that the source is in a frame SS and earth is in the observing frame, SOBS. Applying the Lorentz transformation to the wave vector and choosing just to look at the component results in. So, source moving away, as an example, to apply this to a situation where the source is moving directly away from the observer, this becomes source moving towards, to apply this to a situation where the source is moving straight towards the observer, this becomes source moving tangentially, to apply this to a situation where the source is moving transversely with respect to the observer, this becomes see also, plane wave expansion, plane of incidence. References Further reading, Brau, Charles A. Modern Problems in Classical Electrodynamics. Oxford University Press. ISBN 0-19-514665-4